Hello creatives, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a shooter web effect just like this in Premiere Pro. If you're up for it, let's dive right into the video. So about two months ago, I made a shooter web effect video and it actually blew up on YouTube. What was really surprising was that a lot of people were interested in the whole Spider-Man saga and were really keen to figure out how they could do the same web effect themselves. The first thing you need to do is to act accordingly. Record yourself doing some web throw effect and your acting doesn't have to be perfect so don't stress too much about it. Then import the footage into Premiere Pro and drag it to the timeline. For the web effect, there are actually two ways you can go about this. The first way is to go to Photoshop or any graphic design software and create a web effect. And some people might prefer this but the best option in my case is to use green screen materials. These are green screen assets that has already been well created and can be easily used in Premiere Pro. Just go to YouTube and search for Spider-Man Web Effect Green Screen. I'll leave a link in the description where you can use this exact web effect in the video. Import the green screen video you just downloaded and drag it to the timeline. Place the green screen video on top of your original footage and directly at the spot where the web shooting effect is about to happen. To remove the green, go up to the effect panel and type in ultra key, click and drag it to the green screen video and use the color picker to indicate the green screen color. Keep in mind that you need to position and adjust the web to go according with your hand movements. Now one cool thing about this particular web effect is that it's already automated to come out just like a web shooter, so there's no need for any keyframing in the movements. At the point where the web is coming towards the screen, make a cut and place the web sticker part of the green screen video. And if you follow everything correctly, you should have something like this. Straight to the top, never going down, don't wait for the drop. Never stand still, that's the motto. And that's how you can create a shooter web effect using Premiere Pro. Feel free to get creative and apply the same effect in your own videos. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more exciting tutorials like this one. Leave a comment if you have any questions and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.